Okay, this is following on from the alignment video. At the end of that video, I asked you to add a, another command button to write justify the text. So just to see if you got it right, add in a command button. Simple enough. Hopefully you didn't struggle too much with that. Did you rename it to CMD right or something suitable? Did you rename the caption? Hopefully you did to right. Okay. You should have double clicked on the right button to get behind the code of that button. Okay. And the label we are trying to affect is the label text area. Um, sometimes people get mixed up with this because they, they, they name things differently. So your label might be called something like label message or label LBL message or LBL area or LBL text or something along them lines but mine is LBL text area so you need to write what your name is of your object full stop and then an alignment equals and then if you're always uncertain of the value of the alignment you can always look left is 0 right is 1 and 2 is center so you need to to have selected the value 1 and then running the program left oh sorry say hello world left which is already left center right left center right that looks good to me okay just saving that project and just click the save project icon now and it will do everything save the forms and save the project and so on okay now the next thing we can do is we can perhaps add a bit of colour to our text. So we're going to look at um, something now to change colours. And we're going to look at the property for the label. We're going to actually look at this colour, okay? So if we go into the palette, sorry, go into the palette of the four colour, I can change it to a particular colour at design time. So if I run it, the text will appear in that colour and I've just set it to and everything's still working okay but I don't want to do that I want to set the um, colour at runtime in the same manner that we set the centre for justification at runtime so just putting everything back to the way it was now we're going to set red green and blue so I need a command button okay and I'll call that CMD red and I label the caption to text red okay I will add one I'm going to add the command buttons this time and then do the code afterwards so CMD blue and I'm going to call the caption text blue not surprisingly and last of all, green. Okay. So, naming it to CMD green and caption is text green. Okay. So, I've got my three command buttons in place. Share that one to look a bit nicer. And that's how it looks at the moment okay so I need to put some text some code behind each of these buttons to affect the actual four color of our label okay so this four color is the property we're manipulating so if we get to the command red code button and what's the name of the object we want to affect? Well it's the label what is the property? this time it's the four colour so four and then it is now this is a bit of code that um, I need to explain to you we're going to affect the RGB okay and 
RGB allows you to put in the actual value as an integer going up to 255 and you'll see there that there's some code come up on the screen that gives us a hint as to what needs to be in there okay red as an integer green as an integer blue as an integer okay now an integer is a value a whole number depending on whether it's a signed or unsigned integer but for those of you who've been to the lessons you will probably I will have told you about um, unsigned integers so basically it's a value from minus sorry signed integers so basically it's a value from minus 32,768 to plus 32,767 somewhere around that mark okay so um, it can go up to 255 the colour red so I need to put in the value 255 how much green do I want? I don't want any green how much blue do I want? I don't want any blue okay and um, we close it if we just run that say hello world text red and you'll see that the text has now changed to red and it'll still left center and right and so on text blue does nothing text green does nothing because we haven't got any values behind those yet end the program let's go back into our um, object view and let's get up the text blue code this time text area oops oh that's correct sorry text area dot four color equals rgb command open our brackets this time we don't want any red so it's zero we don't want any green so that's zero and we want all blue so 255 and if we press the play button say hello world text red text blue left center and right okay so what I would like you to do now is write the code for the green button so basically the reds working the blues working greens not working yet so can you write the code for the green button please and we'll check back in a minute to see if you've done that.